Hey, what's going on everybody? Today on this video, I want to show you three easy ways to add video to your iMovie. Pretty simple. And the three that I'll show you today are picture in picture, side by sides, and photo overlays. You probably know what all three are. Picture in picture is where you'll see the video in a little picture in the corner. Photo overlay is where you will hear the audio, but you'll see a picture on the screen. And then the third is side by side in where the video and the picture will be right next to each other on the screen, whether it's left and right or above and below. They're really simple and any beginner could learn these in a couple of minutes. So I'll take you to my Mac and I'll show you what's going on. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you want, what kind of content you want going forward. And I think I'm going to edit on this video. So I'll just pick up my camera and walk around my apartment and then I'll show you how to do this over this video. This is my session, add photos to videos. And I have all of my data, you know, videos and pictures already here. So this is what you have to do. And I'll start with picture in picture. It's really easy. Here is the video I want to add it to right here. So I'll take the first picture and I'll just place it pretty much anywhere. Say right there. When I play it, it'll just literally just be defaulted to set to over. But you just click on the picture, make it highlighted in yellow. Go to these two boxes right up here, video overlay settings, click that. And in this drop down, click on picture in picture. All right. So here's your video back here. And automatically, here's your picture in picture. You could drag this anywhere you want to put it. I'll put it here and you can resize it on each corner. So I'll resize it. You have some settings here to zoom, swap or dissolve. And it all depends on what you want to do. But what I like to do is put a shadow. I like how it looks with a shadow. So when you are done with it and you come back and rewatch, that looks pretty cool, right? Cool picture in picture over your video. And then if you want to edit it, you just click on the picture again until it's highlighted in yellow. And then you go back to the two squares here and you could edit anything else you want to do. If you don't like how it came out, you could click on reset and it'll reset everything back to default. And then you would just go back up to the drop down, select picture in picture again, and then work on your settings. And this is how I like it with a little shadow. And then you could have any type of border you want on it. You could have a thin black border, thick black border, or any color using the color wheel here. If you click on that, let's close this out. So this right here is a picture in picture. We'll just stop here. I'll add my second picture. Just take it from your section here, all your clips, move it down to your timeline. Same thing. Make sure it's highlighted in yellow. Go back up here. And for this one, we will do, I guess we'll do split screen. And you see mine defaults to side by side. So if I play it, my video will be on the right and my picture will be on the left, but that's not how I want it. I want it to be top and bottom because they're horizontal. So you just go back into here, split screen, and you just position it either top or bottom. If you click on top, then your picture will be on top. If you click on bottom, your picture will be on the bottom. So I want my picture to be on top. Okay. So this picture is set to split screen with the picture on top. So now if I let the video roll, that's what I have, the video on the bottom and my picture on top. And obviously the picture isn't taken perfectly for that situation. It was just a picture that I had to demonstrate how to add this feature. And the third is the easiest. This was actually what mine is defaulted to. So we'll take the third picture. We'll drag it here anywhere. And you see the picture again is highlighted in yellow and mine defaults to cutaway. So I don't have to you know, select it. It's already there. That's the default. 
And that is pretty much the video vocals are, you know, going in the background, but the picture that you that you're talking about will show up here. So if I was talking about my echo dot, I would be talking, 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 and then I'd want to show a picture. And it would be this picture while I'm talking, and then when I'm done, the picture will go away. The second option to use for this, which a lot of people like, is the Ken Burns effect. And I believe in iMovie, Ken Burns is default. I turned mine off because I don't like that to be default. In this instance, we have our picture set as an overlay. We have it for five seconds, but we want to add a Ken Burns effect. That is not in this setting. That would be here. I don't know how to describe this, but it looks like a box, but it's the cropping tool. So if you highlight over it, it says cropping. Click on this here, and then you can either fit to screen. Now fit to screen means that is the entire picture that I took. You could do crop to fill, which means if I only wanted to show the Alexa device, I just drag it. Okay, for rice, I recommend perfect steamed rice from Alexa, the stop. That was pretty funny. So that's crop to fill. You just crop that picture. And now if I go back down to my video, now the picture is full screen, but cropped to what I wanted. But again, that isn't what I wanted here. So what I'll do now is go to Ken Burns effect. Now this is where the picture zooms in or zooms out. So if you see here, there's an end point and a start point. This just means where do you want your picture to start on your video and where do you want it to end? So usually the start point would be most of the picture. And then you just have to get it so you could drag it. So let's just say for argument's sake, I wanted the picture to start here and I wanted it to end zoomed in on the echo. I just click, you're in the start, you click into the box of end and then you do the same thing and you crop it. Right? So now my picture will start here and in, during the duration of the video, it'll zoom in and end here. So we'll let it play. This is what it looks like. And that is pretty much it. It's really, really simple. That's how you add a picture in picture, a side by side, or an overlay with the crop, an overlay with just your picture, um, you know, fitting to the screen, or an overlay with a picture using Ken Burns effect. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know if this was clear. Um, you know, leave some comments, let me know what you thought, and let me know what you want to see in the future. So I'll talk to you guys later.